this special meeting. Okay. But it's a parts question. Okay. So that shouldn't be a special meeting. But you want to ask him? He's uh, a. Okay. Welcome to the uh, Federal Way City Council special meeting study session agenda. Would you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, now moving on to the uh, stated purpose of the meeting, the study session for the uh, 2017 uh, 18 mid biennial budget adjustment and 2018 property tax rate. First, we'll have a staff presentation by our finance director, Ade Arabulu, then uh, citizen comments for three minutes each, and then uh, council discussion and questions. Ade? Good evening, Mayor, Deputy Mayor, Council. Uh, just right off the back, because we're doing this towards the end of the year, I want to just clarify that. This is just an amendment to 2017. You did budget hearing for 2017 and 18 last year. And this process is just to, because when we started 2017 and 18, we started in July. And estimating how much our ending fund balance will be, how much our revenue will be. So they were all estimates. By now, after the final audit of 2016, we know the exact amount that we are carrying into 2017. That is what this hearing is supposed to deal with, to show you that, guess what? We thought we were carrying this amount, but this is truly the amount that we are carrying. And since January, we've received some grant. The council have approved additional spending, so I'm trying to clean that up. So it is not a reenactment of 2017, it's an amendment to 2017 because you passed the 2017 and 18 last year. <clears throat> uh, the carry forward after we finish the audit, the financial audit uh, 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 in June, the actual amount that we are carrying into 2017 for the entire city is 13 million more than we included in the budget for 2017 and 18. So that is what I'm trying to reflect to update that number. And also, since now we are in October, based on the grants and some additional revenue that we've seen, we're saying, based on the projection that we put in the 2017 and 18 budget, we will have additional $11 million in revenue in 2017. You know, I think my numbers are better now because we have nine months behind us. Unlike last year, where we were actually six months before that we were predicting. So also, in addition to that, based on the new grant and the new project that we've brought forth to the council, we're saying we want to spend additional 18 million more. Keep in mind that the total amount that <clears throat> we are carrying forward and the additional revenue total about 25 million. That is addition to the budget that you approved last year. Out of that 24.62 million that we're planning to spend additional 18 million. So this and this is a total of 24.62 million that we're adding to the budget that you approved last year, December. So that is the essence of this. So the purpose is to amend 2017 and levy tax to fund the budget that you approved again last year 
for 2018. <clears throat> this is what is included in the ordinance that is sent to you. Uh, the, the detail of column B of exhibit B of the budget ordinance. So we're saying the new ordinance will have beginning fund balance for general fund of 11 million. And these are the new fund balance. And the beginning fund balance will total 72.26 million. You know, what you approved last year, the beginning fund balance that we projected was actually 59 million. So like I said on the fourth slide, we are increasing our fund balance by 13.21 million. You ask, why do we have this big amount? At times, the project that we want to do, we may not get to it or we may not finish it. A good example is Performing Heart Center. We will have budgeted the entire amount, but we didn't finish the construction until 2017. So mm -hmm. that is part of the amount that we didn't spend that now remains in the fund balance that we're carrying forward so that we can rebudget that amount again in 2017 to spend it. <coughs> so this is the breakdown of the fund balance, again, the 13 million that I referenced. Out of that 13 million, we have 1 million in general fund, and the detail, the major part is general fund, 1 million, REIT, about 1.8 million, or 1.9 million, <coughs> And uh, fleet equipment, that is where we come up with uh, the total addition to our fund balance of 13.2 million. So as I pointed out again earlier, bringing now our beginning fund balance to 72.26. For, for the same exit, exhibit B, our revenue that we're projecting, that we're modifying for 2017, will now be 145.92 million. Again, as I mentioned in the first slide, we're adding 11 million more to the budget that you approved in December of 2017. Adding that 11 million to it, that is what is bringing the budget, the revenue to 1.4 million, 1.4. 145 million. <clears throat> this is the breakdown of the changes in revenue. The general fund, about 1.19 million, uh, the street, and of course, again, real estate, which in the monthly report that we've provided to the council, the REIT has done well actually in 2016 and 2017. The two years, the caution is we're not going to be able to sell something like warehouse that quickly. But warehouse, I think I responded to an email to the council uh, last week, even though warehouse may be the most important real estate that took place last year, but actually it's not the most expensive real estate that was sold in the city of Federal Way. We, uh, there was a, an apartment that was sold for more than 80 million. So these are part of what increased our REIT a great deal. So we have few major transactions last year. So that brings our total revenue for 2017 to one, 145 million. For the expenditure side, again, with the addition of 18.4 million, again, referring back to my first slide, you know, it's bringing the 2017 appropriation to 161 million for 2017. The makeup of that is 
there's uh, about 1.46 million to the general fund, uh, utility tax, and of course, to real estate excise tax as well. Uh, quickly, uh, I will show these 930 that is showing there as a minus. Again, when the original 2017 budget was approved, it was with the TBD to fund transportation. We did not levy TBD, but we still had to fund the transportation. So that minus 930 is removing the TBD that was in the budget, but it's no longer available now. Removing it, and we're funding it back with money from general fund. At the bottom, that goes back to again, the 18.44 million that I mentioned on the first slide, and bring the total appropriation to 161 million for 2017. <clears throat> this is a, a quick summary for some of uh, the major funds to show what actually uh, make up the, the changes. In the general fund, the original budget was 10, uh, the beginning balance was 10 million point oh three, and we're adding a little bit over a million to the beginning fund balance, bringing the new fund balance, the beginning fund balance for 2017 to 11 million. And uh, again, the original budget for the revenue was 48.66 million, and we're adding all of these revenue and taking some out and bringing it to 49.866 million. These are the changes in the uh, uh, appropriation or the expenditures for general fund. Uh, the original total appropriation for the general fund was 48.75 million, and now we are amending it to include uh, some grants, you know, 22,000 uh, grant for the uh, day shelter, 50,000, and uh, uh, non-litigation, these are, uh, excuse me, these are all appropriations, 75,000, and uh, contractual vacation for the uh, police department, 110 and replenishing the equipment replacement reserve that we did not fund in the original budget. That is what that uh, 357,000 is. And again, this is that TBD, the 930, the TBD that I just mentioned. That is now, because we don't have the TBD, now we are funding it out of the general fund. Uh, this is the street fund. It's also one of uh, the major funds that had uh, some uh, major activities. Uh, uh, the original beginning fund balance was 500,000. We're increasing that by 26,000. And uh, also, these are the additional revenue. Uh, again, the 930,000 that we plan to have from TBD, we're reducing it. So we're taking that off and saying, well, it will be replaced with money from general fund to make a street whole. You know, so that is uh, pretty much uh, what is in that. With utility tax fund, uh, we estimated that the beginning fund balance will be 1.8 million. And uh, after the audit, again, we, you know, it is, uh, we're increasing it by 600,000 and bringing the beginning fund balance to 2.45 million. And uh, again, this year, because of uh, the weather has been a little bit, you know, uh, strange, which is, you know, where the utility fund does well, when people use their, you know, uh, gas and electricity and phone more, so the additional revenue is generated. So, and uh, from there also, that is why we're transferring one million from utility tax to general fund to cover the 930,000 that we replace with the TBD. 
So, Federal Way Community Center, I think uh, uh, our beginning fund balance held very well. It still remained the same. Uh, they've been doing really reasonably very well this year. So we are increasing their revenue from the services by 43,000. And uh, based on the bad debt, when people sign up for services, they, you know, uh, at times they will get out of uh, the, uh, the plan that they sign up for and we won't be able to collect the money either because they are out of town or whatever. So that is the bad debt that we're removing that revenue by 41. Uh, additional support from utility tax of $76,000. And these are their new spending that uh, 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 this year, because of uh, the, uh, uh, the higher minimum wage, I think, uh, and for our temporary, that has greatly went up. So, Traffic Safety Fund, which is a pretty much the red light, uh, the revenue, the fund balance was a little bit sh lower than we included in the original approved budget. That is why we are lowering the fund balance, the beginning fund balance, by 7,000 right there. And uh, uh, for 2017, you know, we think we would do a little bit better than the estimate that we put in the original budget. So we're increasing the, the revenue by about 200,000. And these are the things that will be, that we're paying out of the red light in addition to what was originally approved. So trying to do the traffic count program, professional services, that would be about 10,000. Uh, the traffic maintenance rate increase, you know, we pay that to King County. They charge us, we pay. We don't really have much control over that, they send us the bill and we, we pay whatever it is. Uh, traffic signal communication upgrade, this is an equipment just to upgrade our system. And uh, since it's traffic related, I think it will improve the safety for our citizens. So, read. When we were putting the budget together in July again, you know, evidently we couldn't foretell the total number or what type of buildings would be sold. So we did better than we thought we would do. Again, that is why we're increasing the beginning fund balance for 2017 by about 1.9 million for the REIT. And also, we're also increasing the projected revenue for 2017 also by 1.1 million, and uh, REIT is not money that we can count on as we study. Also, it's one of those revenue that is strictly restricted to what you can use it for. So it has to be capital project infrastructure. So that is why in here, we're putting additional money into the debt service fund to be able to service our debt. Uh, also transferring some into Dumas Bay to also beef up the fund balance for Dumas Bay Reserve, not Dumas Bay operation. Because as I said, the REIT can only be used for infrastructure or capital projects. So it's intended to be able to build up the Park operation, uh, we estimated that uh, there won't be any beginning fund balance. But because we delay hiring and also purchasing some items in attempt to save money last year. So that is why at the end of the year, there was more $177,000 more in the fund balance than we planned on. But because, again, some of those things that we were planning on buying last year that we didn't buy, and we're having to buy some of them this year, that is what some of these increase and decreases are for. 
So uh, for these uh, right here, these are pretty much for the revenue. Again, I think we were putting the budget for the, uh, for the Performing Arts Center way ahead before it is opening. Yes, I think uh, uh, it's a brand new business and uh, over time they will do well. But again, evidently, you know, I think uh, uh, they're slow in starting and bringing in that revenue. So the director is projecting that we will not have as much revenue as we included in the 2017 budget. And that is why we're reducing that. You see all those uh, minus, minus, that is reducing the revenue. And uh, uh, these uh, new market tax credit donation and interest income. After we got the new market tax credit, that is part of the transaction that will be happening. It will come in and it will go out. So it's pretty much a wash. It will come in and I'll show, when I'm showing the expense section, I'll show the other side of this as well. So this is the expense side of Performing Heart Center. This is the new market number that I was talking about. So it comes in and it goes out. You know, I think there was a discussion we will be paying uh, interest, we will be paying whatever. We are getting funding from the program and we're also paying it out into the program. That is what this 162,000 is about. Transportation, the TBD, because uh, before we presented the budget to the council last year, we established TBD fund, thinking that we'll be able to accumulate fund, but since we're no longer doing that, that is what we're doing here, just wiping it out and making it zero, because we're not getting any revenue and we're not spending anything. The downtown redevelopment, <clears throat> So we're adjusting that by 200,000, and uh, also uh, the revenue is staying the same, and the, uh, uh, we're transferring some money from lift money to the you know, sidewalk project and to the staircase project, which is what this downtown redevelopment fund is uh, set up to do anyways. <coughs> Transportation CPI. That is uh, pretty much all the transportation capital project that we're working on. I think, uh, yes, it shows a major increase to the fund balance. Like I mentioned earlier, because this project, you know, we're doing a lot of a transportation project. We won't be able to finish most of them before the end of the year. And what we do, we roll it to the next year and we adjust our budget. We already have the appropriation. We already have the funding. So we are just rolling the funding into the following year and coming back to you to reappropriate the money that we are rolling into the following year. So this is just a completed project from 2016 that we are rolling the cash balance into 2017. And you will see for this transportation CIP, we will do the same thing in 2018 because it's an ongoing some of those projects will start in September and we won't be able to finish until the following year to take, you know, six months, 18 months, whatever. So that is part of uh, what often drag that on. <coughs> uh, just, uh, just to make it quick, based on the council action in the last uh, few months, just so that uh, I point this out to you, uh, this is the LED project that you approved. So this is to be able to, again, we also brought the Interfund loan and all of that. If we need it, what this is doing is just making provision for it. You've already approved it. You know, if we get to it, that is in the appropriation. So these are all clean up things. Some of these items, are, you know, we've uh, brought them before the council you've independently approved them, and it's just a matter of cleaning up the budget and making sure the project that you approved are also reflected in the budget. 
and this is uh, the funding, you know, uh, 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 for the for the staircase. Okay. Uh, this is also addition for the uh, transportation project. This is the spending of the interfund loan. This is the Exhibit A, the original ordinance that you approved last year for 2017 and 18. So as I pointed out it earlier, this is your original beginning fund balance, which has gone up now. This is uh, the, uh, your original revenue, your original expenditure, which by the actions that you've taken in the past uh, uh, 10 months, we've made some changes to those. So this is what the new exhibit, the one that you are approving based on these changes. Now, our beginning balance, instead of 59, is now 72, and our revenue is now 149, and our 160 uh, uh, expenditure is now 161 uh, 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 million. With the activities in the 2017, the bottom line is we are also increasing the ending fund balance for 2017 that will be carried into 2018 by about 6.18 million. Keep in mind, again, that is also projection. When we finish the audit next year, I'll probably come back and revise that number again. So, but based on the changes that we're presenting, uh, presenting to you for 2017, we're saying it will net an increase in the beginning fund balance for 2018 with the 6.18. So I will come back to you and say, okay, yes, you've approved 2018, now here's this extra money. And here's some project that either we're carrying them into 2018 or we need to fund in 2018. So the activity, the proposed changes in 2017 is also affecting the money that will be available in 2018. So uh, the process I just went through, again, is modifying 2017 based on the new numbers that we have. We will bring forth to you changes to 2018. Uh, you know, for the benefit of, of the, uh, the citizens at home, this is not generating 2017 budget. This is modifying the already budget, the budget that you already approved. So we're now going through the rigorous exercise that we will have gone through if we're building a brand new budget, we're just adding or making changes to what you've already done. And that is part of why I'm speaking more to 2017 and leaving 2018 <coughs> alone, at least I will bring that back to you later. Yeah, I'll be glad to uh, answer. Well, on the agenda, we have, uh, prior to council questions, we've got citizen comment. I've got one pink sheet. Uh, yes. Why don't we do that, and then we'll take questions and, and council discussion. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, Cheryl, go ahead and, and please uh, hand that forward. I've got uh, Jim Stiles. And then just uh, stay close today, please. Yeah, I, I, yeah. So, Jim, did you want to be heard during this section or during the regular city council meeting? Uh, I think this is the appropriate uh, venue for this. So okay. let's try this. If and we've got you Gary can Gillespie slap me coming down, up down. If, I, if this is the wrong place, and we'll we'll save it for later. <laughs> All right, go, go ahead, buddy. All right. So I'm Jim Stiles, a citizen of Federal Way and a member of the Federal Way Arts Commission. I'm coming to you today, uh, along with a couple other members of the Arts Commission for a specific request, uh, and that has to do with the uh, utility box um, mini mural 
as we call it, program, or now we're calling it the Traffic Graphics. Uh, very successful program, something that's generating a lot of interest, not just within, but without, of the city, without the city. And what we'd like to do is, because of the success of the program and the interest in, in uh, the approximately 60 additional boxes, and I think you have some, some information that's been handed out to you about the 60 additional boxes that are uh, potential sites for uh, um, uh, additional of these mini murals. We'd like to ha have the council uh, consider a specific line item request we're proposing because of money that had been taken out, for instance, in, in the year 2017, money was taken out of our budget to be able to fund projects in the interim, and that was money that was uh, thankfully not requested by one group that had, had gotten money from us in the past in the uh, uh, contract budget, but, but uh, now they and other groups are coming to us with more reasonable requests, and now we're, you know, we're looking at a, a, sh a shortfall even on money that we have been uh, given by, by the council and, and the mayor's office in the past. So what we're requesting is to have a line item put in on, a, on an annual basis of $8,000 a year to fund four to five uh, of these boxes per year in order to continue this project. And again, it would, we're, we're proposing it's going to go on for several years until we run out of boxes, <laughs> unless they, they make new ones. And just the, the, the range of, of boxes that are, that are there that, that you can see around now, and I think some potential, uh, we can talk about this separately, that, that they have to, to even broaden the, the impact of this public art uh, on the reputation of Federal Way. And so I feel strongly enough about it. Those of you who know me, I'm not, the, I'm not a, a, a big fan of spending money frivolously. This is an amazing thing. I'm really happy that I was part of the, the Arts Commission so that people like uh, Dan and Gary could, could kind of instruct me and teach me on, on what was going on here, because this has had an impact. People talked to me about it, and we're really looking forward to, to making this a, a solid part of what the city does to represent itself in the, in the way, a positive way that uh, we think that, that it should. Right. Thank you very much, Jim. Well, you're welcome. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Gary, did you want to say anything? Um, no, Jim did a quick. All right, sounds good. Okay. All right. Thank Jim, you, Gary. Jim, we get a hand down there. Some people ask me about the uh, map. And, yeah. Very good. Got it right here. Um, you know, I. I well, this has been going on for, gosh, about three years now. It's been absolutely a fantastic program. I, I mirror those comments. Uh, Suzanne Vargo, then Cheryl Hurst. Hello, Council, Mayor, everybody. Actually, on my pink piece of paper has everything I was going to say. I just... Oh. don't understand budgets very well, so I was wondering where the matched monies for the Fraterra program was. Um, is that in the budget? Is it 2017? Is it 2018? I was just kind of curious. I just kind of want to make sure it's there. That's it. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. Ade, do you know the answer to that question? Uh, hold on, Cheryl, just one second. Uh, what we're doing right here is strictly 2017. Okay. So, so and my understanding is that we were waiting on the state legislature to allocate fifty thousand dollars or two hundred and fifty thousand. So this, we what in the capital budget, which the Senate, uh, which got stalled in the Senate and the legislature last year, uh, we had requested two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, a quarter of a million dollars. Uh, we also had a million dollars set aside in the capital budget for the Performing Arts and Events Center. The failure of the state legislature to deliver a capital budget meant that we lost a million dollars for the PAC and $250,000 for Forterra. Once the legislative race in the 45th district is, is resolved, it is our hope that we'll get that back on track. Will we reapply for that then? Is of course, that yes, works? yes. It's our hope that we'll get, that that capital budget that got stalled last year, uh, we'll get those monies. The million dollars for the PAC, the $250,000 for the surface water management money. It was a big impact on this community. Cheryl. Good evening, uh, Mayor Farrell and City Council. Um, I was noticing on the PAC where the, under the theater rentals, it looks like it's maybe hurting a little bit. And, you know, the fact that I spend a lot of time with the nonprofits here, and what I'm kind of finding after being on a bunch of auction committees, everybody loves the PAC. It's beautiful. They want to be in it. Um, but financially, it's almost 
become out of the reach for all the people that were all excited to have the pack to be here. So what my proposal would be, at least even for the first year or the first two years to make some of that up, is to actually take the nonprofits that are set up in federal way and to be able to give them a reasonable break of what they would get at the community center. So in other words, you're kind of robbing Peter to pay Paul in a sense. But the fact is, is that um, what we're <coughs> finding is every time we try to do an auction, um, we don't have enough room. And then the fire department's saying, hey, you're at capacity, so we can't invite any more people and we can't ask for more sponsors. Um, so I kind of feel like that would solve two two issues, at least to even make the discussion to say, okay, this is a two-year thing where we're going to give you guys a break. And I do realize Tracy Vaughn said, hey, we, you know, we did take a look at this beforehand, but I'm suggesting that maybe we take a larger break. At least some money is better than none at all. Um, and then the secondary thing would be, uh, which it wasn't written on my paper. Please excuse me for not writing it on my paper. Um, and that's... Uh, you know, for the people that live out in incorporated uh, King County, we're still looking for some police protection. So um, the thought process would be to try to see if King County would like to pony up some money that they're giving to their own officers, which are spread overly thin. And so if they gave them to Federal Way, then the officers would be able to be added here. And then incorporated King County would therefore get uh, m much better protection and quicker protection. So. Um, that'd just be a theory, you know, I don't have any, um, Mike Pelliciotti said he would look into it, and so I'm just suggesting that maybe you guys could talk about it in one of your meetings and, and do some exploratory, because at some day, you know, we'll end up being federal way, so might as well be protected before we get to that anyhow. So thank you for your time. Very good. Thank you, Cheryl. I'll talk to the chief about it. It would be a, an interesting turn of events. We used to contract with King County for them to uh, patrol uh, the streets of uh, Federal Way, uh, even after incorporation. Um, and so uh, we'll, we'll talk to the chief about it, and we'll, uh, we'll get back to you. Uh, thank you. Um, all right, and uh, that's the last pink sheet I have. Um, anybody else uh, wishes to comment? All right, Council, any questions for a day regarding the budget? Uh, Council Member Selsky. Yes, thank you, Mayor Farrell. Um, Professor, thanks for the great presentation. I think it was presented very in a very simple way for us to understand. And, uh, and thanks for answering the litany of questions I sent on Sunday. Um, one thing I'm really encouraged about is you mentioned the ending fund balance is back, is increased by 6.18 million. And I know some of that's gonna be, you know, carry forward uh, commitments into 2018. But my question is, is after this adjustment, are the ending fund balances for each of the funds meeting the council required minimum balances in all that exist? Uh, yes. I think uh, that is one of uh, the challenges that you put to me when you approve the fund balance policy to make sure that when I bring changes to you like this, it needs to conform with our fund balance. Or if it doesn't, I need to be able to explain that and have three years to make it whole. For all of these funds, yes, they conform with the fund balance policy. Okay, great, that's, that's encouraging. I'm uh, very glad to hear that. Secondly, just a, a question about SCORE. Um, I think for the past few years, a few years, our debt service has been covered for our SCORE requirement uh, by operating funds that, that they paid on behalf of the member cities, right? Yes. Is that still happening this year, and do you foresee that going on further? Uh, uh, yes, it will go on for 2018 also, okay. but I think the catch is, which you will see when we bring the changes to 2018, there's operation costs and there's a capital contribution. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are covering using their excess revenue to cover the capital costs, but the operation cost is going up. So actually, based on the budget that they presented to the administrative body, I think our 2018 will go up by close to 700,000. Okay, that'll lead up. So Most I think that. when I'm talking about the fund balance for 2018, mm -hmm. those are some of the things that that fund balance will have to go to cover 
first when we start changing or when we bring forward the changes to 2018 budget before the council. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Councilmember Sepha Dawson. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so the human services funds are in the general funds, correct? Uh, yes. And they're carried, f so it's a two-year contract or two-year funding cycle. So does that carry forward or how does that work in this? Uh, if there's a, uh, actually one of the issues in the human services is actually, which I, I don't remember if I mentioned, is the day shelter where we got the grant and we amended the budget to show the revenue and show the spending in 2017. For the, any of the items that is uh, the CDBG, for example, is a standalone fund, and whatever is now spent automatically stays in that fund and get rolled over to the following year. Any of the agreements that we have, if it has not expired, even if they are in general fund, if the contract has not expired and we haven't finished spending it, we will roll it over to the following year. Okay, thank you. Right. Council, any other questions? <coughs> Council Member Copang? Uh, Dave, just a quick question. I know uh, in getting a better grasp of, uh, of uh, the budgeting process, there's a lot of buckets that funds get put into. Uh, we have $6.18 million uh, in excess funds. Um, how much of that is actually general fund? Or allocated the general fund as opposed to a specific uh, out of that that we're hoping to carry forward to <coughs> I think this is also part of the report that I sent to you for 2017, we were planning on ending the fund balance of the general fund by 9.95 million, and now projecting 10.74. So, out of that 18 million, I'm looking at just about 800,000 that is in general fund. So that means majority of that amount are in restricted in a form fund. Council, any other questions? Is there any other public comment? Any other discussion? All right. I got going once. <laughs> All right. I feel like I'm at an auction. All right. Thank you very much. Great job today. Okay. Uh, the, the next one, sir, I think is the property tax section. Proceed. You know, uh, again, this is to levy, this is where the public hearing actually is. You've already adopted 2018 budget last year, but you didn't levy tax to actually fund 2018. So that is what this is doing. You approved the budget because we are doing, we are doing is, our budget. Is this budget on the agenda for, two for this meeting? I believe this is the next meeting. It's actually on 2018 property tax rate. It is on the agenda. Okay. You see it? Yeah. <clears throat> All so, right. So that is what this is doing. In order to levy tax, you have to have public hearing. Yes, you've adopted the budget, but because we levy tax one year at a time, that is why we're having this, uh, this uh, conversation. This is to levy 2017 tax to be collected in 2018 and to fund 2018 operation. As I mentioned, 2018 budget was approved last year with 2017-18 biennium budget. The hearing is to Mayor, levy the I, tax. I, I, I'm sorry to interrupt. I believe this is meant for the public hearing in the next meeting. For 
Yeah, I'm looking at the next meeting. The actual presentation is meant for the public meeting for the tax rate. This is not public hearing. This is probably just sharing the tax levy process. It says, and 2018 property tax rate. Do you see the agenda? So if you could turn to the regular meeting under public hearing a day, is, that, is this what this is? Item A? So I guess a day. Are you going to give this again at the uh, regular meeting? If that is what the uh, council, we should private way. I, actually, what's the, what's the? Uh, okay, a day. I think we're going to wait till the regular meeting. It'll be uh, it'll be shortly. Uh, okay. The meeting, the regular meeting starts in ten minutes. Okay. It's part of the. It's noticed as the public hearing, um, and uh, uh, we've got a good crowd here. It's going to be televised. Why don't we? Uh, I think it is noticed and obviously on the agenda for the regular meeting. Uh, let's do that then. Okay. Is that okay with everybody? Yes, thank is you. It, let me just ask this. Is there any objection to that? Okay. A uh, hearing none. Um, now I get to adjourn the special meeting. All right. Thank you. Take two. Mm -hmm.